Oh my, what do we have here? This is wet or dry. 200 grit sandpaper. Over here we have 400, 600, 1000, 1500, and finally 2000 grit sandpaper. Nothing is fine. Woo, look at that. Come and feel it. Over here we got a stock Intel um, heatsink fan combo. Over it we got the Sigma tag. This is the HDT S1283. Oh man, this thing is huge. Look at that thing. Woo! See that? Huge. That's what she said. Yeah, about her last boyfriend. <laughs> and over here we have the Intel Core 2 quad 6600 go stepping and the question here is uh, why all these together so, well you see this we're gonna we're gonna take the CPU we're gonna sit over here like this we'll take this hit sink and we'll put it over here like that and that's how computer works kids <laughs> now that's crazy now what we're gonna do we're gonna take the CPU right and um, we're gonna send it like so. <laughs> I don't know if that is any less crazy, but uh, yeah. Actually, we're not gonna need this Intel stock fan anymore, so we're gonna throw that away. I also forgot to mention this glass window I stole from the cabinet, because we're gonna need something that's flat, and this is nice and flat. Also, we're gonna need some tape. So, some of you probably wondering why am I doing this? You know, it's not like the first thing that comes to people's mind after we buy a 200 or 300 CPU to throw it over some sandpaper and sand it. The reason is I want to buy me an i7 um, build a system, a new brand new system, but Besides all these recessions, I don't have the money. So I'm gonna settle for super overclocking of the CPU that I already have. And one of the things with overclocking is heat, right? And we don't want a lot of heat. And the way we handle that is with heat sinks, right? You got CPU and the heatsink sits over like this, and that's how heat get transferred from the CPU to the heat sinks and uh, cools it off. But the thing is, a lot of time these two surfaces here is not flat. You know, there's gonna be little tiny gaps in there, and uh, we don't want that. Right? We want it as flat as possible. So what we're gonna do today is what they call lapping. Now some people lap just the CPU today I'm gonna lap both the CPU and the heatsink uh, it just makes more sense to me that way what's the region doing one because the other one's still gonna have some gaps oh you're probably wondering what's this ghetto tape job here right on my CPU well you don't want to be handling this part of the CPU you know you don't want to scratch it, smear it, dirt it up so uh, I tape it up, you know, cover, and it's it's not a uh, very good looking, but it would do, you know, for the job. Well, if if you have the the box still and you, there's the CPU cover that comes with it when you buy it, that would work great. But I don't have it, so this this what I'm gonna have to do. Let's just secure this thing, make sure it doesn't move while you're doing this. Okay, so it's gonna take the CPU and we're just gonna sit on there like so, and we're just gonna go back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, uh, I forgot, my bad. So for, tend to get forget log today. We're gonna want to get a marker, okay? We're gonna mark the CPU like this. You see it? Yep. 
what we're doing there is um, just for reference because later on when you start sending down it's gonna tell you where it's not flat okay because by you see what, what I mean let's put some more lines there let's do this just put on top like that and you're just gonna move back and forth one two three four five six seven eight nine ten well I gotta do just ten because some people do thirty some people fifty and then they turn it around but signs me I can't count past ten so I'm just gonna do ten okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and some people also like to you know go like this Spun it around like this, you know, sideways, diagonal. You now you can do whatever, pretty much whatever you want. But one thing that you want to keep in mind is you don't want to push pressure on top physically with your hands. Okay, you just want to um, kind of push it side to side, just the horizontal, controlling it, and let the weight of the CPU you know, push down on it. Because when you physically pushing down on you don't know if you pushing pressure on it even in all corners okay so that might cause it to uh, stand down unevenly anyway just keep doing this okay and let's check it out I don't know if you can see it you see how in the middle the markers are gone and the, the outside is uh still there so uh, what's that tell you is uh, the middle was ri was rising up it was higher than these sides here okay and uh yeah that that can cause uh the little tiny gaps well, i'm not gonna be bored you guys to death so we're just gonna skip through the final stage all right one other thing before uh i go to the final phase i don't know if you can see that see the the copper color so that's the base you know, if you want to get to that uh, copper base there try to get everything off and also I want to show you how uh, I send the heat sink obviously this is a lot bigger a lot heavier it's going to require a little more care okay and uh, kind of use both hands this time Yep, and remember, you know, don't try to force it down yourself. Just let the weight of the heat sink uh, does its job for you. And there should be any problem because this thing is pretty heavy. See it? Nice and easy. Just treat it like a lady. Alright. Here it is. Finally done. So what we did was we just went through the 200 grid and work our way up to the 2000 grade in order let's see what we have here see it see all those straight lines I mean that's good it means it's it's flat because if it's not flat it's gonna be uh, warped let's see from the side here mm -hmm. let's check out something different this logo here Yep, definitely flat. And let's also check our uh, heat sink. There you have it. Pretty flat. There you have it. Outstanding job.